Experts at the Medical University of South Carolina say drowning is the number one cause of death in children. And today, specialists and members of the community came together in an effort to educate people and offer revention ideas when it comes to drowning. And WMBF News reporter Ashley Listrom was also there for that meeting. And Ashley, it's important to point out that drowning can really happen to anyone. Yeah, Eric, experts say that drowning doesn't discriminate. It can happen in just an inch of water and take just 20 seconds for a child to drown. It won't happen to you until it does. South Carolina mom Michelle Zeig says she was beyond excited to purchase and for her family to move into their first home. The fact that it had a pool in the backyard was just an added bonus. In a moment's notice, the emotions changed turned around and just pointed to the pole and Brayden was face down in the water. MUSC Pediatric Trauma Injury Prevention Coordinator Mary Beth Vassy says while drowning is a national problem, South Carolina is at higher risk because we have so much access to water. We have lakes, rivers, ponds, the beach. We have um, there's all kinds of stuff around us. Vassy also says over 70% of drownings happen when it's not swim time exactly how Michelle's son drowned. It was not swim time. My son was fully clothed with shoes on that day. Back in the Grand Strand, spokesman for Horry County's Fire Rescue Service, Tony Casey, says summer brings in the most water-related calls. Casey says paying attention is the best way to prevent potential drownings. It's just being sober, being responsible, having the adults in place to keep their eyes on those kids at all times when around bodies of water. But if you do have a drowning emergency, knowing CPR can save a life. If you're able to perform CPR in a drowning situation before fire rescue gets there, it really increases the chances of survival. Casey says so far this year they haven't seen any fewer or more calls compared to previous years. And he also says it's important that when you're around water to have a cell phone in case you need to call 911. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Ashley Listrom, WNBF News.